My name is Victor Nino with Keller Williams Realty and the conversation everyone's focused on right now is the coronavirus. People keep reaching out to me and asking me, Nino, what should I do in this time of crisis? Should I buy or should I rent? Should I sell or should I stay? Well, we can focus on the doom and gloom of one side of the story or focus on the facts. The reality is, guys, that coronavirus or no coronavirus, we all need a roof over our head. The question for the people that are renting is, do you want to keep that roof belonging to someone else or do you want to have your own? Right now, the interest rates are extremely low and you can actually capitalize on having those interest rates for the years to come. And it's your decision. I'm not here to convince you either way, but I wanna challenge you to just think about something real quick. If you lose your job, somebody just reached out to me and says, well, Nino, I don't wanna buy right now because if I lose my job, I will not be able to pay my mortgage and then I will lose my home. Well, guess what? What happens the moment you lose your job and you can't pay your rent? Your landlord's not gonna allow you to stay there for free, so you will still have to move out. The biggest difference is that a landlord can take you out of that home in a matter of weeks, if not maybe one or two months. That happens here in the state of Texas. Now, you own a home, people start defaulting, there's tens of thousands of families defaulting on their loan. Guess what? How long do you think it'll take for them to ask you to move out and foreclose on your home? Months. I heard stories back in 2007, eight and nine, where people were staying over a year, a year and a half that couldn't afford to pay for a mortgage. Well, guess what? The mortgage companies started to make some arrangements with the people that did qualify to refinance and stay in their home and put all those missed payments at the tail end of the mortgage agreement. Well, if you are a homeowner, and you can't afford your mortgage. Well, guess what? You can bring other people, relatives, friends to live with you and help you pay your mortgage. If you are a tenant, you can't do that. Your landlord would tell you you are not in compliance with a lease agreement and ask you to move out, even if you're paying on time. So you see how being a homeowner gives you more options. Now, I hope you guys do not get affected by the coronavirus. I hope this stays in the past quickly, and I hope there's not a lot of issues, health issues that we have to deal with for the years to come. I hope you and your loved ones stay safe. I hope you guys prepare in the event that there are more raids at the store with people buying up everything in the store and walking in and seeing the shelves completely empty. Prepare yourself, but Understand that those that make a decision to capitalize in this time of uncertainty, well, guess what? You will reap the benefits for years and decades to come. If you have questions in reference to what's happening locally with the real estate market, don't rely on national news. Please reach out to me. If you have another real estate agent that you know and trust and you feel that they have the experience to guide you to make the right decision, reach out to them. This is not a topic where you should get advice from people that are not in the business and definitely not from people that are not informed with what's happening locally in the Austin area. I hope you guys stay safe. God bless everyone. And just know that I am here for all your real estate needs. Take care.